Today we have a crisis occurring here on this Scarborough Esplanade where persons are forced out of business. We have one person here in particular. As you can see, Sion's Variety and Ceramic Store, whereby they are forcing this man out of business who is a legitimate tenant, claiming he owes some money. PDP leader Watson Duke spoke with the members of the media on Monday during a media conference. Booth owner Ion Sion, who has been served an eviction notice, spoke with members of the media. You keep on meeting and you're saying two weeks I pay half the money. And when you pay the money, you get a letter to go. And when you give the letter to go, you still collect 19000 on top of that. Yes, that's wicked. You know. On top of the letter, and you still tell me how to go. Mr. Sion said he even took out a loan to pay off his debt. When I went for the loan to pay the money, the time was short, so the man in the Rambo Credit Union, which I remember, he said, no, take it from your share. This was my NIS share. And I take it and I pay it my piece sacrifice, by piece. My sacrifice. Saying I will get a good word in. And, and you now come on the scene, you never, went by all the booths and talk to everybody. And you never come by this booth. Because they want I this booth. I'm the only man that sells 24 hours beside the picture. If this is the booth they want. In an immediate response, the Milford Road Esplanade Limited stated that Mr. Sion owes thousands of dollars and he was served notice. It said Mr. Sion became a tenant of the MRE in 2018, paying a monthly rent of $2,500 and he began defaulting in 2021. Arrears of 24,100 accrued in July of 2020, but all the arrears were waived due to the impact of COVID-19 pandemic. Between the period August 2021 to May 2023, Mr. Sion's non-payment amounted to $50,800. A part payment of $1,700 was made. In August of 2021, he paid no rent for close to two years. A demand notice was served on him in May of 2023, and he made a part payment of $1,000, reducing his arrears to $49,800. By December 2023, his arrears reached $52,300. A part payment of $3,300 was paid over the period. In February 2024, he was given another demand notice for arrears, which now totaled $67,000. On the 9th of July 2024, a tenancy meeting was held at the Rotonda, requesting tenants to make payments of at least 50% of their arrears by the 23rd of July 2024. At that time, Mr. Sion's arrears totaled $76,000. The MRE said Mr. Sion made no attempt at payment or consultation regarding his arrears. And on the 30th of July 2024, he was served with a notice to quit the booth. He occupied by the 31st of August 2024. In the month of August 2024, after the notice to quit was served, Mr. Sion made a payment of $18,500 towards his arrears. On the 3rd of September 2024, a meeting was held with Mr. Sion requesting that he vacate the booth that he held over after the notice to quit was served on him. He agreed to leave by Friday, 6th September 2024. The Milford Road Esplanade Limited says, contrary to agreement arrived at, Mr. Sion has shown and chosen to remain in the illegal occupation of the booth and is being frugal with the truth regarding his tenancy. Elizabeth Williams, TV6 News.